Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I'm Joe Tigay here in the VIX Fit, while all the traders behind me and myself included are waiting for the Fed. Yesterday we had some other central bank news that really drove the market off to new highs. Uh, we had some positive news out of the ECB. They're looking for more inflation. The market liked that. We got past that 2900 level, which it had been resistance for all of July. And now, we, now that we're above it, I'd like to see the market consolidate there above the market. But of course, we got major catalysts happening today. Of course, we have the Fed announcement happening at 1 o'clock central time. We also have uh, potential trade news that could happen anytime. Any tweet could happen anywhere. So like I said, the VIX is settling in right here at this 15 area. The market's flat, the VIX is up a little bit into this number. I think after the number, as long as it's positive, uh, the VIX will go lower. But on to that number, there's a very uh, important thing I'll be watching. I'll be watching the 210 spread. If Powell, if the Fed is unable to uh, signal that they're going to be lowering rates anytime soon, that two year uh, yield will actually have to come up and if that comes up, then the uh, spread between the 210 could go negative. And if that goes negative, that signals a recession. So I'll be watching that very closely. Now, again, I've been talking about this for a while. It does signal a recession, but the recession doesn't typically happen until 9 to 12 months later. So keeping that in mind. Now, if the Fed does uh, thread the needle, if they are able to say that they're going to be lowering rates, I'll be watching some inflationary assets, keeping my eye on gold, and maybe they'll be positive for the market. The market might be able to make all-time highs, which it hasn't been able to do since 2018. For Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Teague.